Welcome back, everybody. Um, this afternoon, what I'm doing is I'm looking at images of Josh and trying to work out a bit more which of these uh, images might become my main image for my card. Um, they all are good images, of course. They're all bad images as well. Like They've all got their strengths and weaknesses in terms of a composition. It depends, you know, how much space I want to fill and what I want, what I want to include and how I'm going to include it whether which one's going to be best for me to use um personally i like the ones that fill the space a lot you know the nice big portrait of him here this one is a great image in the fact it just fills the space nicely the same with this one of him squatted squatting down um i've done these paintings that i think i've shown you before but this one's an oil of the one with his catching mask in the background and then i've got two studies that have never been finished actually i've got this one of him in his catching gear and then this one here a gouache um again more of a sketch than really a finished piece but again you can kind of see how it how it fills the space on the page um of course that doesn't mean that i can't use these ones i can um but it's going to give me it's going to give me some benefits because I've, I've got more space to put other elements but it's also got some drawbacks in that it's got exactly that the the the, the space that it leaves um you know, these ones are great images, great photographs. Um, but I've got to try and imagine that on a card and work out how I'd crop it and where I'd, what I'd put in the gaps to, to kind of fill it in. So it's probably getting to the stage that I'm going to take this onto, some of these onto Photoshop maybe. I might do some more sketches and um, then get some of the ideas together. Maybe put them onto Photoshop and start playing around with them on there to see if I can come up with my, my final design make my decisions about colours, patterning, logos to include or not include. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I always say, or when I used to teach, I always said that it was like a, you have like a funnel. When you're making a design, when you're making a painting, it's like having a big funnel and you always put everything in at the top um, and then you're kind of squeezing out those little bits or, or like a like a sieve maybe. You know, you're putting everything in and you're trying to sieve away all the, take off the, the bits that you don't need to make the, to make your cake, or in this case your painting, as juicy and tasty as can be. I've also got this painting of Josh that I made at the end of 2020. Again, using that famous photo of him as a Crawford crouched down. Um, it's a very loose oil painting that I did of him, but I really like it. And what's going to come into play here, the reason why I've got this out to have a look at it, is the style. And that's something that I'm going to have to think about at some point, whether I keep my card kind of loose and quite um, gestural, I guess would be the, the word here. Um, and it's you can see it's not very specific, it's not very detailed. Um, and that's kind of what I mean by that. It's much looser and much, uh, much, a much quicker, faster moving painting when you look at it. And I'm going to have to think about whether I stick to this sort of feeling with my card or whether I tighten it up a bit and I get more detailed. But again, I'm, I imagine I'll probably be using parts of this and parts of other ways in which I use paint. <laughs> 